The GMO conversation has been around for almost 20 years, maybe longer, but the conclusions were incorrect, right? There's a lot of people that hear GMOs say, GMO's bad, organic, good, you know, move on to the next piece of the conversation. And it was, it's just not right. We have great data that tells us the type of foods that we should be eating, whole grains, fruits and vegetables don't even need to be fresh, frozen is fine, canned is fine, but we don't have any evidence to say that it's important for those foods to be produced organically. And that's a really important part of this conversation. I was very surprised to see how some in the organic industry and natural foods industry were very ruthless about miscommunication and, and fomenting fear to sell their products. Life is complicated enough, fear mongering does not help. Tell me the truth. Tell me the, the complicated truth and then let me make decisions. Look at how easy it is to get swayed by marketing tools that might go towards your confirmation bias and make you not hear what the actual science is telling us. And that's a very, very dangerous thing. Science used correctly, it's the best system we have for being able to make decisions. Good science gives you confidence. If a study can't be repeated, it's not good science. If it is repeated over and over again and you still want to doubt it, you're not skeptical anymore, you're a denialist. So I beg people to think twice and, and dig deeper. It takes more effort, but it'll give you a much more peace of mind in terms of understanding what is real, what is fake, what's been manipulated.